after yesterday I decided to take today off. So Dad and I are at the shopping center. We're gonna get food and we're gonna go watch the new Brad Pitt movie. <laughs> Bullet train? Bullet train. Bullet train. Bullet, Bullet train. train. Brad, it's Brad Pitt and bad guys. What bad. can go wrong? <laughs> it's like John Wick, but less it sad. Is, any, anything that looks like John Wick's good these days, and yeah. Brad Pitt's even better. If a dog dies, I'm rioting. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, big man. Ford's up there in tier one. Thank, Thank you. you. Hell Cheers, yeah. man. Are you excited to bullet some trains? I'm excited to look at some trains. I like trains. I like trains. I like, do you like trains? I like trains. <laughs> this is a bullet train. Yeah, oh, 11. That's 11. This is 12. <laughs> Movie review. <laughs> These were the most laughs I had since Deadpool 2. Listen to me, camera. My final thing. The plum never falls from the camera tree. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah. Translated, that means <laughs> it's the same as all of other David Leach's movies, but it just keeps getting better. That was so much fun. And it's like every 20 minutes, you're like, oh, this person's in it, oh, this person's in it. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Like a solid, solid what? I give it an, an eight and a half out of 10? Yeah, oh, definitely. Highly recommend it. It's most laughs I've seriously had since Deadpool. Deadpool 2 and it's the the quality of the whole thing is just fantastic and it just puts you on a high throughout the whole movie with a huge smile on your face. Yeah. Not particularly intelligent but super fun. Nah. Hi, welcome to the floor of a different part of my house. I wanted to add a little bit at the end of this vlog because I assume that there is, it's, it's quite short as it currently is. So, I thought it would be fun to talk a little bit about my camera bag because it shows up quite a bit in the vlog but I've never actually talked about what's in it. I'm wondering if I should have a better setup for this. Give me a second. Okay, this is the bag. This is a Peter McKinnon Cross Nomadic travel bag. I bought this at the start of last year and it has served every need that I have for a camera bag. I really like this bag, but it's not about the bag, it's about what's in the bag. So, oh, this is the inside of my bag. As you can see, I have not organized it at all. This is as raw and as real as it could possibly get for a camera bag opening because I literally haven't opened this or unpacked it since yesterday when I used it. So, let's just work our way through this stuff. Maybe let's start with these pockets. So, these pockets are simple. It's just a little zip. I can usually keep spare batteries in this top one here. These are my hard drives. I have a vlog drive, we're up to number five today, and my project drive, we're up to number one on this one. So this is for podcast, uh, documentaries, client work, all of that sort of thing, and this is, is just the vlog. And then with that, I also have a, a USB-C cable to connect it to my laptop, and another adapter for CF cards. This adapter sucks, it's, a, it's an Inca adapter. Don't buy these adapters, they're terrible. This has broken on me like three times and I've had to rebend the pins back into place, but it's my backup within the bag, and then I also keep my little AA batteries here in the bag as well. You never know when you might need a replacement AA. While we're talking about adapters for laptops, we might as well cover my actual laptop, which lives up here. This is my M1 MacBook Air. I made a movie about this already, I'll link it up here if you wanna go watch that. The shortened version of that is that I love this laptop and it does way more than it possibly should. <laughs> and then in this magic pocket, I keep a dot journal as well. Every creative should have a dot journal. You never know when you're gonna have an ID. You never know when you're gonna to wanna to write something down. Just have something in your bag that you can write notes on and every person should always have a pen in their bag. And in this top section as well, I have two very poorly but coiled XLR cables. This is to, to connect my big mics to my camera. In my camera bag at all times, I keep three cameras, not including my vlog camera, which I carry with me every single day. Let's start with my cinema camera. This is my C100 Mark II. I absolutely love this camera. Uh, I bought it at the end of last year and it has seen countless hours of use. Along with that, I have the, the top handle in here, uh, a short XLR cable. This is just one that I bought off Amazon. It's like 30 centimeters, I think. Very convenient for connecting this Rode NTG2 to the top handle and then the top handle to the camera. That's my usual run and gun setup for this camera. We'll talk about lenses a little bit later. But then in this bag as well, I have a Canon EOS R body, uh, which I just got back from repairs, which is very exciting. But this has been my daily driver for a while now for my photo work. It's, it's light, it's tiny, the autofocus is tack sharp, and it's just a very convenient camera to use. I feel like this is on a slant. Has it been on a slant this whole time? 
Yes, it has been, but I'm almost convinced I just made it worse, but it should be fine. Anyway, Canon EOS R, great little camera. Been using it for almost two and a half years now. Absolutely fantastic, big recommend. Then I have my ADD. I keep this in here as like a, a backup vlog camera just in case this one dies. And this camera is what's shot 90% of the movies on this channel. I do love my ADD and I could operate this camera in the dark if I really needed to, but this one has uh, has seen quite a lot of use and is quite battered and bruised because of it. I forgot to put this in before. This is also an adapter for, uh, for my laptop. This just gives me a bunch more ports. Love this adapter. This one I actually do recommend because it's sleek, tiny, super fast, and uh, and not crazy expensive either. While we're on the topic of, of computer stuff, I have two chargers. One lightning to USB-C for my phone, and then I have a USB-C wall plug for my for my laptop. That's that's fairly standard. And then while we're on adapters, I have a a wall plug adapter for like a bunch of different countries. Very convenient. I haven't actually had to use this yet, but it lives in my bag just in case I ever do need to use it. Then we got my SD card case. This one, this thing is this thing is so convenient. It's uh it's by Rugged, it's waterproof, dustproof drop proof, all the, all the proofs, and uh, and this keeps all my SD cards and my CF cards in here as well uh, for safekeeping. It's just easier than having them like in a, in a little pocket in your bag. I keep a camera strap in here just in case. This is actually my dad's old camera strap from the 70s or 80s that he gifted me when I when I got into photography the first time. So this camera strap has, uh, has a lot of sentimental value to me. And of course, extra battery for the C100. You never know. Ooh. You never know when you're gonna run out of power. Then we can move on to the fun stuff, which is lenses. So I keep, this sh also shouldn't be in here. This lens sucks, this is a 18 to 55 kit lens. It sounds like, it sounds like plastic. Do not use this lens if you can afford to not use this lens. Other than the 16 to 35 that I keep on the 1DX Mark II at all times, I keep three lenses in this bag. I keep a 24 to 70 f2.8 Canon L series lens. This was the first L series lens that I ever bought. I absolutely love this lens. Uh, I would say that like, other than the vlog, all my, most of the other stuff that I shoot is, is on this lens. Then the next lens is this Canon 70 to 200. As Peter McKinnon would say, this thing could knock someone out. I really cannot express to you how stupidly heavy this thing is, but it is a great lens. This one currently has some issues with the focus mode on the inside, so I need to I need to get that repaired. And then the last lens in here is this Sigma 18 to 35 1.8. This lens is like the goat of all lenses for crop sensor cameras, which coincidentally, not coincidentally, it's intentional. This camera is. So I usually use this 18 to 35 on the C100 when I'm not using the 24 to 70 because this gives you a much wider field of view and it's 1.8 which is absolutely insane for documentary stuff because it can basically see in the dark. Other little things, I keep a USB to USB-C cable in here in case I need to connect to another drive and something that you can never have enough of and everyone should have in their bag, markers. You never know when you need to mark something. Then the other two things I have in here is tripod base plates and most importantly of all, spare lollies just in case you need them. So that's it, that's it, that's my whole camera bag. That's all, that's everything that I carry with me on a daily basis. All of this gear, actually, except for the, the two things I think that I said don't buy, everything here I, I massively recommend. I love this gear and it has served me very, very well. I'm gonna pack this back in here really quickly because I have made a massive mess here. <laughs> Okay, that's it. I'm ending the vlog here. Uh, there'll be links to all of this stuff in the description if you want to check it out. I'll see you tomorrow. No one wants to see the bullet train? No one wants to see the bullet train. Oh. Or maybe at night after the aircraft. Yeah.